Hey everybody, Scott Spreinzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. Got a free pick in just a moment. Hey, if you've yet to take advantage and become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com, and it comes with the DocSports guarantee. It's as simple as that. Free $60 account. Click on the link below the video to get yourself started. All right, listen, uh, last night we passed in football. I had that small opinion, didn't have a, a play on it, but a small opinion as we told you about on the New York Giants plus the points, and uh, they did get the job done as far as the spread was concerned. For those who jumped on the Giants, I didn't. Uh, just a nothing play for me. And uh, when we looked at what the percentages were, it looks like uh, the books did okay for the most part as far as the side was concerned by the couple of books that uh, we get our information from. Looks like the undercast for the majority of total players. Again, we weren't on side or total last night. Uh, what we did do is split yesterday overall. We lost in the NBA. We had New Orleans last second basket. In fact, it was tied. They had a ball. They turned it over and then uh, they give up a last second shot that goes in and they end up losing 105-103 as a pick or a one point favorite depending on where you got it. Didn't end up mattering at the uh, very last uh, second of the game. And then of course in the NHL we cashed a real nice six unit play on the Calgary Flames who blew a 4-2 lead. Thought they were going to blow it for us late also, but no, they held on and got the victory 5-4. Uh, to four. So a real nice win in the NHL where we continue uh, to win big. In fact, we're 80% now in the NHL with six unit plays so far this season. I've got a seven unit play in the NHL going on Tuesday, fresh off the big six unit win on Monday night. Again, winning big in the NHL with these plays, 80% uh, with the six unit plays. Uh, this will be, I believe, the fourth seven unit play I've had so far this season, and it goes on Tuesday. It will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Don't miss that seven unit play in the NHL. Passed in college baskets as far as premium picks were concerned yesterday. Uh, we had the total here, the free pick video total uh, that did not get the job done, but premium picks we did pass yesterday. We're back in action on Tuesday, and we're hitting about 62% against the spread over the past couple of weeks in college baskets. Have a four unit play going on Tuesday's card, college basketball. That will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Eastern again for the NBA and the seven unit play in the NHL. As far as football, you know the drill. We'll be back on Thursday with football, uh, which will be posted at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for the entire weekend. Not sure yet if we're going to be involved in Thursday night football. Might pass that one. You got a crazy high line. You got Lamar Jackson, who's a little bit banged up for the Ravens. Uh, so we'll tell you more about that as we get into Thursday. I have a little bit more information, but can't wait to get to this week's card. Of course, the Bulls next week. If you look at the Bulls right now, you've seen uh, over 70% of the tickets most books reporting on LSU laying all those points to Oklahoma. They opened as low as nine, been as high as 13 against the Sooners. And then, of course, Clemson getting the money over Ohio State, getting the tickets, not as dramatic as LSU over Oklahoma, but still getting uh, the tickets, the majority of the tickets in the books that report to us. Clemson laying a couple of points against Ohio State. We'll keep you updated on where the betting is uh, all throughout this week, next week, and into uh, the playoff situation in those, in those two games. So stay tuned for that each and every day. We'll talk more football on Wednesday's report for this upcoming weekend. But let's get to the free pick uh, for Tuesday's card. It is an NBA total, and uh, we're going to recommend to play on the under, under about 206 between the Nuggets and the 76ers. These two teams hooked up earlier this season. They played to 197 points, and uh, we expect expect this one to be pretty much the same with that total sitting around 206 as we speak. We got two of the slower paced teams in the NBA. Uh, in fact, uh, Denver plays at the NBA's 29th quickest pace or second slowest pace, however you want to look at it. Uh, both teams own strong defensive efficiency numbers, as you know. Uh, both teams so-so on offense. Philadelphia, not bad, but again, they're the better of the two, and they're just middle of the pack when it comes to offensive efficiency. The unders cashed seven straight when Denver faces a team with a winning percentage above 600. They get into more defensive battles, a little slower battle when they take on the better teams in the league. Meanwhile, Philly's on a 7-2-1 and under run overall in the last 10 games. I think you're going to see a low scoring game on Tuesday, lower than the total states. Again, it's around 206. We like the under and recommend to play on the under between the Nuggets and the Sixers on Tuesday. All right, again, don't forget, seven-unit NHL play the top play on Tuesday. It will be available 1 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. 
Tuesday afternoon, college basketball, four-unit play at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, NBA also at 1 p.m. Eastern, and uh, don't miss out as we look to sweep on Tuesday. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then.